At SURF, we develop and innovate applications with cutting-edge technologies like network function virtualization. How does network function virtualization work? Today, the SurfNet network transports data packets from A to Z. This means that institutions need on-site specialized network equipment to handle their data traffic. This equipment executes network functions like rate limiting, firewalling, intrusion detection, and on-the-fly encoding and decoding. With network function virtualization, the functions conventionally performed by this specialized equipment are migrated to virtual environments. This way, institutions can start up network functions much faster without installing new specialized hardware on site. In addition, network function virtualization makes the network more flexible and scalable. Institutions have a wider choice of suppliers and network functions. They can easily change suppliers without making hardware changes. And they can scale their equipment's capacity to match their needs. In short, we believe that network function virtualization is important for next generation networks and that it can save institutions considerable time, effort and money. To prove that network functions are more flexible and scalable, we allowed people to experience network function virtualization firsthand in a virtual reality environment. First, users slipped on some VR goggles that made them appear in virtual reality. A Kinect motion sensor captured their movements and let them open the virtual menu. A Leap motion sensor activated the virtual menu. With this menu, they could select any number of network functions and program the network. To make them visible, each network function transformed the user's image on a screen in the VR environment. Thanks to service function chaining and the network service header protocol, the selected image manipulations were combined seamlessly in the selected order. Our setup proved that network function virtualization is very fast and scalable, with network functions being executed near real time. This means we're another step closer to bringing network function virtualization to the world of research and education.